Hello, my friends. Welcome to stream. My name is Derek, and I will be playing games for you. And yes, uh, and hello, Nord. And yes, I am doing DQ Builders. Two, the second one, not not the first one. Um, uh, that one's already been out. Uh, it won the poll, and I already gra gotten it yesterday. So I was like, yeah, all right. I guess it's time to play it now. Yes. Also, is my audio coming in all right? And thank you for the host, Nord, by the way. I just spotted it. All right. So as as the title, well, I guess kind of the title says, I'll be doing some Dragon Quest builders. I played, uh, I, I wanted to say I wanted to get f fully into the first one. I just didn't have, like, it's, I just didn't kind of stay focused. I think I did like one, two streams of it, and then I did some on my own. I like it. It just I just had other stuff going on at the time. Just I just could not focus on it. But hopefully, big hopefully, I'll be able to play more of this because the cool builders is good. E Deku Deku is one of my favorite series. I may have said it for S and S and T, but I really mean it. All right, let's go, let's go ahead and uh, jump on over. Luckily, I have it updated, ready to go. It's in the console, right? Yeah, it's in the console. But they have Dra Dragon's Dogma in there. To, I had to install updates to stuff I'd gotten recently. So let's start it up, baby. If I remember correctly, you can create, I know you can create one in the first one. I wonder if how many, how much more, how much more diverse this, uh, the customization is for your character. Cause I know it was, all right. I guess it was like almost on par with DQ nine. And I was like, okay, I can, I can deal with that, but hopefully it's more, more customization options. To start off with. Hopefully, uh, I'm waiting for the sound to kick in so I can know how the audio mixing is going to be. Come at me, baby. Give me. Give it to me. Sure, sure. Doing the load game. Slime in the, on the book. What's going on? What's going on? You little. Uh, you little sneaky devil. Does this do an in initial loading? Maybe I should have loaded this game up prior. Maybe. Possibly. All right. Okay. Now I see the loading is getting a little. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, Koei Tecmo did part of this? All right. All right. All right. I, well, then again, I may have been paid attention to the first one. Okay, so... How is the audio from hearing this and hearing me? Is it... Is it too loud? Should I lower it? Because it sounds... All right on my end, but what I hear and what you hear are two different things. If I uh, if nothing pops up, I mean I can I can go ahead and I I can all uh, I can always go ahead and continue. I mean, uh, all right. I was kind of hoping there would be like a. Uh, Audio seems good, very good. Moment of this game, plus you involved equal masterful. <laughs> oh, you've you've played a bit of this? You've seen some bit of this? I I see. Maybe you said moment of this game, plus you involved. You sound like you sound like there's something I need to know. A little bit loud on your mic, maybe. Okay, hold on. I'll I'll lower that. I do see it's a little bit, a little bit jacked. How about now? How about is it is it is it better? Um. Okay. There we go. Yep. 
Huh. Did my mic cut out on you guys? That was weird. All right, we should be. Okay, I, I did lower. I did lower the uh, the gain on it, so it should be fine. I this I, 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 okay. All right, this game being out is uh is a moment of perfection. Okay, good. That classic DQ intro, just good. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I I not gonna lie, I've been wanting to stream the classic quest games like my all-time favorite which is five and three and six and seven and eight and so one and two on the super nintendo version and, and monsters and, and four dq5 aka feels the game <laughs> Which one, which one have you played, Zeta? Have you played the original on SNES or have you played the DS one? Oh, I got a build, do I have a builder bonus? You received the historic headwear. Oh, from the first game. You come these items to change a character's headgear and hairstyle to that of the hero or heroine of the original Dragon Quest builders. However, you can only change your appearance this way once you progress to a certain point in the game. To receive your bonuses, start playing by selecting either start new game or continue. Please do not turn off the console. It's time to design your character. All right, it's, it's time, baby. I I identify as a hold on. Let me let me check real quick. Yeah, yeah. Genitalia in my in my leg, in my leg. Oh, let's get a hair option. Oh, this is hair color. Do we have, can we change hairstyle or that's later on? This is, this is eye color. Hold on. Really just, am I, did I miss some? Okay, no. Ah, so you do, I guess you can change it later on like your hairstyle. Hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, not well. I was I was thinking it would be like more of a you could change your kind of like little minuscule stuff. Little, little minuscule stuff. All right. Let's see. Should I be a narcissist and do one like based on me? Or should I just make like my own original character? Do not steal. Cause I could base off my, the character I'm doing for my uh, comic story. Cause I mean, I just need the basic colors and we can just do that. Since when has DQ had complex character? I mean, come on, nine had, you could change the eyes and the hairstyle at least. Come on. Have barber option in this game, like make a barber shop and then maybe, I don't know. Like I said, uh, two added a lot of things. So I, wait a minute, does that skin look, does that, that look kind of a greenish to you? Like Goblin, like Goblin. A gooblin, uh, a gooblin. Cause nine with bare bones, kind of. Yeah, true. All right. Uh, also playing nine on a ROM is something. How so? And with the controller. Oh, oh, yeah, I only played it through the. Uh, Like the uh the hat cards. Okay, I uh, do we have what 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 is a good name? What can we name our 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 little fledgling when he's out in the world building, building like he never built fucking before? I'm just gonna check quick if option you can change. 
I mean, actually, you don't have. I mean, you can, but I, you know, go ahead. You know, go ahead. Sento uh, Crux's build. Uh, okay, Sento Crux's build. I, I, I don't know why I say Crux. I already added, I added an R. Oh, Sento Crux's build. Oh, I'm like, why are you calling it Crux's? <laughs> Did you go? Did you just do a? Did you do a common writer reference? <laughs> Love and peace. All right, we'll 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 do it. We'll do Sento. Are you happy with this character? You can change your character's appearance, gender, and name once you reach a. Okay, so you can, all right. So it doesn't matter what I make. I can make them anything I want later on. All right, yes. You can now adjust the game settings. Once you're happy, select confirm to save your changes and start the game. You'll be able to change these settings later. All right, uh, I mean, let's see. Everything on. Everything pretty much the same. Wait, minimap? Ooh. Retro. I keep that. Well, I'll put the volume. I'll put the music down just, just a tad. Actually, no. I'll, speaking of Toku in general, yeah, man, looking at the photo books got me thinking I'll buy one. I mean, what? What? <laughs> Wait, I'll be back. Just an arrow, man. All right. Nice, you are playing the game for <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Wait, what happened with with uh, with his stream? I, wasn't he supposed to do it today? And I was kind of just like, yeah, I might be doing mine too. Auto adjust glass position. Where, uh, choose whether or not to position glass panels so that they are in direct contact with water in cases where the panels and the water are adjacent to one another. See water through glass. Choose whether or not to display water and other translucent material when looking through guns. He was supposed to play yesterday, but no one bought it for him in this. Oh, that. Uh, well, I mean, whatever. Oh, uh, well, what a shame. What a shame. I mean, oh, well. Hey, I got mine with my own hard-earned money. But that's, 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 that's a whole different thing. We're here to have fun. We're here to have, we're here to have a good time with Sento, a common writer reference as a character. I'm, I'm happy with my settings. I can always adjust them later, of course. Also, how's everyone doing? Doing well, keeping cool, I hope. That GameStop sell came through when so it came through when i needed it to yeah i know i i, I got oh yeah that's right i got the uh stackable slime uh uh thing that was coded in, in my game you'll be able to use your download content once you progress to a certain point in the game that's probably during around this, maybe around the same time i need to do my appearance maybe maybe Enter forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Hold on, we gotta do this right. Oh, luckily, this is not a auto thing. Give me a moment. I gotta, I gotta change some. Oh no, he did it. No. Glorious High Priestess Hargon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out rick upon rick to ravage the land and strike fear into you. Father then gave up his mortal form so that Malroth, the master of destruction, might be reborn and the world be consumed by catastrophe. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the Moon 
was waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. I don't even know why I had still had uh the the reverb one. Huzzah! Huzzah! Oh, hail Hargon! Praise be to Molroth! Oh, look at the little slime and Drackey there with some imps. Oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from the world of oblivion. Lend us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. Dragon Quest Builders 2.9. Because Kingdom Hearts reference. And welcome back, Nord. Sorry about that. Sinto! I mean, I, I, you are the hero who will save the world. Oh, this, the, this is goddess. Uh, Arise, my child! Your destiny awaits! Oh, hold on. Arise, my child! Your destiny awaits! I gotta remember goddess is the flame point. <laughs> the look on your face, I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero, I know that much. You're one of the middlers, right? Yes. <laughs> you want to watch that mouth of yours, boy? Telling the truth might land you with more than you bargained for. Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I've actually just got the job for a lad like you. Once you wipe the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on dock, Dick. <laughs> Great, I'm in gel already. Oh, the movie character. R to control the camera. B to jump. All right. Hello, Derek. Did you see that summer Lana at... No, leave me alone. I don't even want to talk to you. <laughs> what a pong. This must be the toilet. Looks like it hasn't been emptied for a very long time. Oh. I'm gonna sleep. I got a voice. Yeah, I seen your, but I did see your post. I'm, I, uh, I'm quite jealous. I'm quite jealous. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, even though I haven't even started doing mine yet. Builder, builder, I have something to tell you. Did you know that you can run by holding R while you move around with L? Stick. I'm sure the extra speed just hacked me. I just hacked you, bitch. I'm sure the extra speed will come in handy, but take care near high ledges, or you'll meet your makers sooner rather than later. Mm. All right. Well, haven't pulled yet. Well, maybe mother bless your pulls. <laughs> maybe, hopefully. This is where we stole our cargo. Real slime mariners. The slim, uh, slime mariners. Yeah, okay, I said it right. Like we call it the hold. Say, you wouldn't be that apprentice builder I've been hearing about, would ya? They say you can make all sorts of stuff from just a bit, I mean, to a few bits and blobs. I don't know how you builders do it. As the Magoofus and Hargon said, destruction awaited all that is built. To think of all that hard work going to waste. Hold on real quick.
All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. I had to do some talking. All right, uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, I see they got the, the marker where I got to go. Stairs are no match for you, I see. You just can't keep a good lad down. <laughs> now, as you no doubt have spun it, there's, uh, we're sailing on an open ocean. We got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you'd get very far anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. Here, keep this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> nice, I have kelp. Oh, great. Since I can't remember when he last ate. The thought of food makes his stomach start to rumble. Believe it or not, that kelp can be eaten. Select it with the L on uh, the left and right on D-pad and press X to eat it. Doing so will refill your fullness gauge and replenish some, some health. All right, I guess I'll eat it. Down in one, that kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? That pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-tickling combination. You should think you're lucky stars. You got to scoff such a scrumptious snack because it'll be your last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough. But don't worry, you won't be shoveling off this mortal cordial just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to be getting on with first. Complete. Nice, I'm gonna do the quest at eight. <laughs> you can wipe that eight. The cemetery anytime soon. So long as you've got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you'll have to follow my orders to do the best to the letter. What's that? You want to know where we are and what we're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are without a paddle, I might add. Go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. Okay, I'll talk to monsters then. Oh, well. Hello, Goomen. We're the last surviving members of the children of Hargoon. The ones who didn't get squished. We're going to bring the world to its knees. All in the name of the great and glorious high priest. What's with all that slurping? I'm just salivating at the prospect of squashing you goomans once and for all. Great. Uh, this sheep keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The higher ups would never tell stuff like that to a lonely little drecky. Goomin, is that a Neptunia reference? <laughs> Maybe. But, but slimes always talk like that. So Neptunia took it from slimes. Well, well, if it if it isn't the oh, well, well, if it if it the the Mr. Uh, the Mr. Builder, you're one and uh, you're one you're only an apprentice, but you're pa prancing around like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere this these days without bumping into the intolerant little builder hell bent on doing all the hard work. The world's the world's going down the pan, that's for sure. Yeah, only our, I mean, uh, our only caught twice is them when they bother some builders like you one by one. That's why not, yeah. I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that your end's nigh. <laughs> Medenhall, Kronuk, Moonbrook, from forth these three kingdoms did come the hatred, the hated heroes, the science of Erzric, and laid mighty Hargan low. 
With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrounded me, surrendered his mortal form so that Moldrath, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say. Hargan's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day he, we will reduce this world to ruin. Neat. I talked to the guys. <laughs> so you talked to the rest of the crew, eh? Obedient little blighter, aren't you? So now you know we're the last survivors of the children of Hargon. Loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. Ah, that means you builders of our sworn enemies. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. Eh? You want to know what we are going to do with all these builders? Only the higher-ups know for sure, but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are up for it for, for the chap. Still, that doesn't mean we can't make the most of what little time you've got left. Just be thinking you can be some benefit as your final moments draws ever closer. Neat. I now know what's going to happen to me. We are making very good progress. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars or worse, you'll do as I say. So here's the deal. Last night storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things shape ship shape around here again. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strews around the deck and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop chop. The driftwood is marked with a uh, icon. Right up to one of those and press Y to punch it. I will punch it the fuck out of it. I got you, Skeletor. I'm punching. I'm punching. Oh, I'm punching. Alright, uh, there's some up here. No, just some skeleton bones. Okay. I mean, the marker would have shown me where they were anyway. All right. Let's talk those skeleton bones again. Well, well, my dick looks a in much better shape now. You pick up all that wood. No flies on you, eh? Still, I suppose being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a knock up the cockets. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of massive destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind, but considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. He wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this, right? Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling onto your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working like the beautiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing up things. Just be careful what you bash doesn't bash you back. Yeah, the life lessons from old skeleton bones here. I let you off. Deck and chatting with my crew without a care in the world. If anything, I'd wager you weren't actually enjoying this. Doing it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Faced with the same fate, most prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. You what? You actually look like you went. For you? Wait, wait, you what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you? Sorry, I had to reread that. Hmm, it seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I ain't better keep you busy or who knows what might me you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on the deck have got some jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you're sorted them out. All right. Let's see what all, the, all these crazy guys got going. I've been watching you build her. 
I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pocketing all the wood you could find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all, I mean, all of our navigation lights on overboard. But such things can be rebuilt, can they not? Like you've collected so you can make new torches. Do you see the worn out workbench over there? Use it to make five torches. You, here, I give you, you know, I believe you will need this oil to craft them. Yay. Once you have the torches, you must put them back to their proper positions. The five black blocks, yeah, the five black blocks will be your sign. There is one by the workbench and four more around the stairs that lead below the decks. Place one torch upon each block. Don't fail me, builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place. Return to me once you have finished the task. All right, you can make some torches at the workbench. The worn out workbench using the materials in your inventory. Yay, this is where Minecraft comes in. All right, we can make five. You know what, I'll just make one set. For now. You know what, I'll make another set, just in case something happens. All right. Torches can be placed on top of other blocks, like an item and pressing X. It's like with the using an item for, uh... Oh, there we go. Like, use, like using items like uh, food and stuff. So, instead of uh, placing, you'll be... Uh, instead of using, you're just placing. Oh. Oh. Uh, I can just do that, right? Yeah. Boop. Great. Yeah, okay, so L and R is look down. Look, no, uh, L, no, L and Z, L and ZL is look up and down. Hmm, it seems you have done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. For a ship such as ours, they could do with being a touch more sinister. If I do say so myself, but I shan't complain. The deck is eliminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will be soon out. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are more. There are others aboard this ship who might still have some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Yeah. Hope you don't mind the. The outlandish voice acting, guys. I'm just, uh, too excited. Well, if it isn't the so-called builder, anyone think you own the place? The way you're strutting around this deck? What's that? And what's with that attitude? You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders? You want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what. As long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Oi, you! Fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill him, huh? <laughs> Alright, better uh, put them dukes up. I warn you, though, the skeleton soldiers are proper head kicks. Come and find me at the fight's finished. If you can still weep, walk. All right. So, all right. So it's, it's, so it's, it's it. I actually forgot how to fight. Okay, it's why. All right. I'ma punch you. Yeah, take that skeleton. I'm too badass for you. Well, you're a better boss than you look. I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic. Not that I should be surprised, you pretty. You're a pretty bonus for someone who claims to be a builder. Bode well for your future career, does it? Luckily, luckily, you don't. don't. <laughs> Alright, be off with you. Go tell the bones and what a weakling you are. <laughs> you fight like a cow's ca cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. What's that? 
You would have smashed him to smithereens if he had a... Unlikely story. You're gonna bash him upside the skull with one of them torches. You're such a wizard whipping up. Don't make me laugh. Oh, what's that book you got there? I'm remembering or learning. Rick is such a learn. Cypress stick. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. What? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Put your money where your mouth is and make the cypress stick then. And one more thing. What's your no good otherwise. I'm glad these monsters who are hell bent on trying to get me killed later on is very helping me out. Gotta love those monsters, right? Time to make me a, a weapon. Equip. Now I'm about to beat the sh shite out of you. The boy genius returns, Cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say, fancy another crack at that old bag of bones now? You got a weapon? Yes. <laughs> That's the spirit. I ain't wanna watch that rider try and put himself back together once you're through with them. Get out of here. Oh, he just said compound fracture? Oh no. Ugh. My bone crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on then, lad. Go and brag about beating me to the bones. And... Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Let's look at the state of them. The only thing he's good for now is feeding the dog. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him. Good one. I wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. <laughs> anyway, thanks for that, Builder. You certainly helped pass the time and nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not as you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day just yet. Not by a long shot. I got a feeling in my bone there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. Great. Alright, so who else needs help? Ah, uh, Mr. Weezard. My, my. You have been a busy little boy, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now a cypress stick. But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? No. Alas, not. Other than the simple cypress stick, you haven't a single tool upon your person. Such a shame. Well, I won't be ought to do something about that. I mean, I think we ought to do something about that, hadn't we? I confiscated these, this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below deck. Now they are yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up a whole host of objects with the without the need to smash them first. Ideal for organizing your articles in an orderly fashion. So without further ado, take your newfound gloves and gather all the barrels strewn high to higgly piggly around the deck and place them to a mat to, to the mat beside me. Yeah, I have gloves now. Higgly piggly. All right, so ZR to pick up something. All right, that's cool. Yep. Here. Uh, uh, uh. I'm glad you're giving me. I'm glad I know that that my trip to my death. Is the tutorial for the game. Nice to know. You no, know, it's great. So how do you start the game? I'm going to jail.
Alright, let's see. Alright, there you go. Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any budding builder. I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work-shy wastrels. But based on your showing just now, I may have re reassessed my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder, the eternal enemy of our exalted order. After your time among us will be but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. Yeah, I'm gonna die. It would appear that you attended the er everyone's errands for now. I read along and informed the good captain that you required some. Did you require some more backbreaking chores? I'm back. Not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working his fingers to the bone for us monsters without a word of a complaint, neither. If I doubted it before, I'm certain now you actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Still, I won't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? Yes. <laughs> of course you do! It's what gets you out of the bed in the mornings. I can tell from the look of your fleshy face. You've got all the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live! I mean, I guess I, I proven myself. Thanks. Well, with that, I mean, well, with what you builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running bow the stern building like Billy O. Can now, can I? I'm sorry to say, kid, but I'm going to have to sever the smiling skull from your shoulders right now. Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a wheeling worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin boy. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, Letty? Will you join my skeleton crew? You don't have to say anything. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're lugging around? I ain't never seen anything like it before. Huh? Where did this ring come from? Why? You don't have to tell me later, laddie. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. Okay, now it's the official voice. Hold on. Ah, oh, an apprentice builder! You will do nicely. This is your world to recreate and your to destroy. Cloth ears, what are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below deck and into the hold. It's far too dangerous up here for a land lover like you. Gotcha. Well, there's myself. All right. Wait, hold on. There's the guy talking here. Well, what the heck's going on? Come to the hold quickly! We're in deep goo goo down here! <laughs> oh, no, I gotta. 
<laughs> I gotta, I gotta screen cap that. I gotta screen cap that. Hold on. That, that text, that text box alone is hilarious. Oh, we are in deep goo goo. We are in deep goo goo, guys. Oh no. Blimey, I don't like the sound of that. Out I mean, I mean, blimey, I don't like the sound of this. Oh, tight, I'm on my way. You all right there, Builder? I can't be stopping to help some human. I've got to get, get to the horde. Hog and preserve us. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony backside in here pronto. I need your help. I'm coming. I'm coming, Captain. Oh. Oh. Over here, Builder! What took you so long, eh? I ain't got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef and the rock gone clean through the hole. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading down to David Jones' locker! You'll be a Skeletor when Christmas is on, right? Yeah. I don't like being nice. Well, I don't know if this will work, but try cramming the crate into that hole. You got a pair of gloves, don't you? Use them! That was a closer shave than I had liked. Ah, but you did it. You saved my... Oh, throw me a bone, not more horrors! Ah, ah, we're taking on more water! Ah, we gotta do something, use some more crates and plug up all those horrors! I got you, I got you, Captain Skeletor. I ain't gonna let you die. You're my buddy, you're my, you're my pal. Save a builder or no, I owe you one. But our run in with that rock has made mincemeat of my heart. The next wave that hits us, card. No, oh, I didn't know it. It's a race against time, builder. Cram those some more crates into those holes and hurry. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like, what? I gotta save them. I gotta save the monsters. How else can I have wacky adventures with them? Huh? Uh, okay. I was like, why well, wouldn't I? Maybe I wasn't on it? Okay, that's why I wasn't on the thing. You showed up my ship good and proper, Builder. I don't know where I would be without you. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much I am. Me long. Oh, throw me a bone. We're done for. Holy moly, look at that one. Uh, we don't have any crates big enough to plug up a hole of that size. This is it, Builder. It was nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Builder. Square Enix. When you walk away, you don't hear me say, please, oh baby, don't go. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. Ooh. Ooh, I hope that wasn't Skeletor that did that. Koichi Sugiyama, Akira Toriyama. You've given me too many things lately. You all I need. Oh, whoa. You smiled at me and said, Don't get me wrong, I love you, but doesn't mean that to meet your father.
got fucking cars. And, and, and monsters. Do we got farming in Harvest Moon. I love it. It's the greatest. The fact that we have monster teams. I love it. I want it. I already have it, but I want it. Nice castle. Can't wait to die. It's going to be marvelous. I wonder what happened. I guess uh, I guess I'll be washed upon shore somewhere at some unknown land to new adventures. Maybe. Or I'm just dead. Probably dead. And I gotta remake my whole character now. A new a new builder. Oh, wouldn't that be oh that would be fucked up. That would be so fucked up. What if the builders you made was not was the even matter you had to make a new character because that would be the actual the actual one. Sento awakens on the sandy shore. It seems he was washed up on a desert island, along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship. He decides to take a look around to see what he can see. I still got my uh, my stick and everything. So, yeah. All right. Uh, nothing over here. I guess I got to climb up some mountain. Oh, hey, there's a hole. Hey, there's a treasure chest. Suddenly, Sento hears a voice. There's nothing here. Nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Actually, you know what? I'm changing. Mm -hmm. Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seemed to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Since I might be able to dig through the sand so to get to the other side. Mmm. Seaweed. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy food. Isle of Awakening. The land of infinite opportunity. This is where all journeys begin. Where all journeys possibly can end. Depending on your, your state of mind. It might be a negative Nancy. The sky is such a strange color. Huh? Like, what's that noise? Hey, Spikey! Who the heck are ya? Finally a live one! Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would ya? You were on a ship that sank, and then you woke up on this beach? So how come you didn't cark it too? What's your story? Your name's Sento and you're an apprentice builder? Huh? Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name's Molroth. Uh, hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on! You'll be disappointed! I mean, you won't be disappointed! Oh, it's this way! Gotta go fast. Over here! Oh, it's this way! 
This is what I call dead in the water. Bet you've never seen anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from the shipwreck. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... <coughs> what the? Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. Sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. Now we should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh man, it sucks to be you. Let's kill her now. Fuck it. Uh, <gasps> Where am I? How did I get here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, they have like a little water drain effect. Ah! Y you're pirates, aren't you? Filthy, freebooting brigands who should take me captain shall take me captain to men a ransom for my safe return. <laughs> there she goes. <sighs> she got a mouth on her, hadn't she? There's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? <laughs> he is great for the murder. I love him. He is quick for the murder. Get away from me, you villains. If you're going to take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. Well, we're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up up, up here with Sento when, you, uh, when your ship sank. Just a moment. Do I know you? Huh. Yes, I remember. You're the builder from the ship. The one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I know you were in cahoots with them, so what, So that means this is all your fault? Well, what are you going to do about it? You're going to make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Oh, well, all right. Even a rank amateur like yourself would be would be able to use that worn-out workbench outside to make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. Uh, now, what we need to hold out until... Uh, now, what will we need to hold out until the help arrives? Let me see. Mission! Lulu's demands! Make a room! Oh. We'll need shelter from the elements while we, I mean, while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. The walls must be, must be at least two blocks high, and we, we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use the old, this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix up the pl and fix the place up. We can salvage some of the decking from the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use the gloves of yours to pick it up. You won't be, have to worry about splinters out doing that way. Cooking old food on the bonfire! Sorry. You have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us. So we need to find some sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. There's bound to be a scally wiggle or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on a bonfire first. We'll need some wood to build a fire. Luckily for us, there's plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the shipwreck lying about. You may as well put them to good use. Uh, to use. Build some beds! Now, I can't be expected to put my head down on uh, for the night on those lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if, uh, if I'm to get my beauty sleep. But imagine we're keeping... I mean, but I, I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters. So we shall have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bo bossy boots. Who made you the leader here anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even have the common decency, decency to wear a proper shirt. Damn, burn. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty muscles. Say that again, and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh, Builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from this savagery. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. 
I can consider these little tasks as training. I mean, you can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like. Then when you become a full flesh builder, you'll have me to thank for it. Training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery? Well, how about we put her out of her misery, out of our misery instead? I like, I like more routes. Uh, he got some fucking wit. Well, wit, by wit, I mean he's ready to kill. That girl really gives me the bump, hump. First, she wants, won't stop wet, uh, whining, whining, weaning. No, whinging, whinging, my bad. She won't stop whinging. Then the moment she wants something done, she barks out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her lackey. Yeah, yeah, I know she's standing there too. But that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad case. <laughs> she's a castaway at the end of the day, same as us. You've got to look out for number one. That's my motto. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know you said you were a builder? Is that, like, something to do with a duck's nose? Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which her, which of her errands you're going to do first? If it was up to me, I'm in those walls while we're here. Let's stub up some planks in those holes and, hey, presto! We builders, uh, we builded ourselves a brand new room, right? To be honest, I blinked out the rest of her requests. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. All right, Malroth, you're you're already my favorite character in this game. <laughs> he was he was so quick to killing her when she was passed out on the beach. I love it. Oh, let's put her out of her misery. Room. Sit so you repaired my room. What do you mean your room? Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. Just so you know, a room must have a door and a wall at least two blocks high. That's the first rule, rule of rooms. Anyway, I'm never, man, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. And you two are very welcome to stop by anytime you like. Make a room completed! Well, she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Right, next up is dinner. She wants to cook up some scally wiggle winkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? Is that something you can do? Uh, I guess I gotta learn how to make a bonfire. All right, bonfire made. I mean, learn. What's the deal with that book? Uh, huh? You just invented bonfires and now you're gonna build one if you have enough materials? All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn out workbench. Well, if there's oil you need, I'll give you, I mean, I can give you some. I brought this out of a slime that got in my way earlier. Here. Huh, nice. Thanks. All you need now is wood. That girl said uh, you can get some from the driftwood and the broken barrels on the beach. Whatever that means. Anyway, you better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It'll only put her in an even worse mood if she's already in. I like this boy. Malroth is best, best friend. Oh, he punches too. That's great. Dead. Oh, he's like in auto mode. Oh, oh, he is auto mode as soon as I do something. If I'm doing something, if I'm breaking something, he'll break it too. Like, or if anything nearby. Oh, that's cool. All right, so we got a bonfire. Let's go ahead and make that. Oh, the fact that he helps me collect. Oh my God, that was great. All right, let's build bonfire. All right. Uh, all right, so. Oops. 
bonfire. What's that you made? It's hot as heck and it spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. But are you sure you know how, I mean, what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? You can use a bonfire to cook food. Select an ingredient and put it in the fire with X and press A to start. See what happens when you throw a scally wiggle on. I don't have a scally wiggle though. If it takes a little time to cook, just try to be patient. It'll be ready before you know it. I'm cooking seaweed. It's not scally winkle. I am cooking seaweed because I need some food now. If it's wood you need, try bringing a few broken barrels or bits of driftwood you see lying about. Once you collect enough, head over to the wine. We already did that, though. Then you have to chuck a scallywinkle in the fire. Then it will be ready in no time. Hello. I make crispy kelp. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So where is this scallywinkle? Over here. Hey, Sento, I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what does any of that actually mean? You smash things you find here and there to get materials, which you can use to make new stuff. That's what being a builder is all about. Ah, uh, okay. I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't know already? Look, they might be a eh, they might be a ten a penny where you come from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. <laughs> well, not that I remember anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful builder free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I punch pretty much everything I touch. You know those scallywinkles Lulu was asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them all for ourselves. Yay. Is that a scallywinkle? <laughs> That's not a scall... That is a scallywinkle. Is it? That is not. What's that funny looking thing you've got there? <sighs> it wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles that the girl was jabbering on about by any chance. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we might be checking up chunks of, uh, till the break of dawn. <sighs> and that's something I'd rather avoid. All right, so we got our, let's get, let's get some more. Is there any more? Uh, there's some more over here. And then we'll head. Yay, thanks, Malroth. You are a good boy. Oh, I didn't get that one. Are you too lazy? You too lazy to get the other one? Oh, thank. Well, thanks, I guess. No, I didn't mean to talk to you, Malroth. I'm sorry. I'm glad to see uh, slimes are so prevalent no matter where we go. Alive and well. They're going to be a threat to us. Oh, right. I gotta place them in. And cook. Careful, Sento. That scallywinkle just fell into the fire. Oh. Ah, that must be how you cook it. So you builders can make food too, huh? Say, it'll be a little while till that scallywinkle's fully cooked. Let's go look for some more materials while we wait. All right. 
Oh, this man broke that. Oh, that was the body. My bad. Thanks. Sintel makes his first seared Scallywinkle. I, I didn't know how to runny nose. Oh, I'm sorry. That aroma? Is that the smell of a succulently seared Scallywinkle? I must have it. Here. Um, num, 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 num. Mm. Ah, the scent of a seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of the sand grains. Simply irresistible. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire with Scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on a bonfire. I can cook me. I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw fare. And it makes me feel healthier, too. So remember that cookery is all about experimentation. Cook bonfire. I mean, cook fire with bonfire. fire. Oh, how rude of me. I just realized I never asked your names. Sento and Malvrath, you say? I don't know. I know you're a builder, Sento. But what do you do, Malroth? Well, I'm, uh, actually, I don't know what I do. I welcome on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory is completely, completely blank. <laughs> well, well, an apprentice builder and his amnesiac friend. Am, uh, amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like him, <laughs> you must be dreaming. <sighs> Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and I see your scal and that's your sal scallywinkle has filled me up nicely. Oh, Sinto, how's progressing going with the straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. I need to learn how to make it. All right, time to learn. We realize I can make that now. Here we go. He got his book out again. What have you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you can make straw bedding out of the dry grass? Uh, well, I just saw something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Uh, could that be what you're looking for? I don't think I'm going to like Malroth. How come? Why don't I like Malroth? Malroth Malroth's all right. It's fine. Can I hit that? Nope. All right. He's too negative. Oh, I mean, he, you know, he comes from a special place. He comes from a special place. Let's just get all the grass we need. Oh, Mara just... See, at least Mara helped me cut the grass. At least he's being a helpful grass cutter for me. See, look. Look at him go. He's going crazy. Grass, grass ain't stopping this boy. Also, uh, that's a, huh. He helps because he has no choice. <laughs> Since the exam is a strange stone carving, but nothing happens. Hmm. I guess that'll be used for later. Let me say, where are you going, Sinta? I mean, uh, Malroth. All right, let's kill some slimes. Get me some goo, slimy goo. So yeah, uh, starting next week, I'll be switching my schedule, like far as like my my streaming times, not counting the weekends, of course. But during the weekdays, I'll, I'll have different stream times. 
So it will be a, uh, I might be doing a two hour during the morning and two hour, two or three hour after midnight. So depending on your availability, I'm, I'm there. But of course, weekends, it'll just be like normal. Like I'll stream during like the middle of the day instead of like earlier or later. Three, no, not eight, three. Can you count? Probably not. Malroth probably can't uh, can't count because you know he's come from different walks of life. All right, so we're gonna put this one here. This one here. See that for like for you, Nord. I'll be like, that'll be like uh, early morning for my late streams and like middle of the day for you, or like near the evening. This is wonderful, Sento. You made a bed for me and a couple of couple for yourselves too. Taking a nap during the day will help you recharge our energies. And after the sun goes down, you'll be able to while away the dark and dance and the dangerous night in Dreamland. <sighs> I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder, and on the desert and desert island, no less. When the children of Hargon attacked my hometown of Rippleport. My parents were caught up in the fighting. Those ma maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood. So I stowed away on that accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths, but I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in those, these trying times. Anyway, thank you both for thank you both ever so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements. Uh, it's been a long hard day. Let me see if I can get a little longer. There we go. It's been a long hard day. I suggest we get uh, get some well earned rest. Make some beds. Complete. Mission complete. <laughs> All right, I do a little jig there. Let's see now. You repaired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me supper. I do believe that's everything. So are we dating now? That's basically what that is, right? I must say, it's a real relief to have a builder around. And judging by the quality of your work, one could or would ever never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. I know we're standing here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I mean, you're stranded here, not standing here. I shall give even give you even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. <laughs> the castaway life might be a little less luxury, I mean, luxurious than, I, than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure with the dead bodies outside. And as for you, Mulroth, this could be a perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture and maybe even some manners. Now then, Sento, I want to go out, uh, go out at first light every morning and forage 30 with Sally Winkles and 50 strips of kelp. It must be all cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. Time to kill Lulu. She will now be our food. I thought Lulu might calm down a bit when she got what she wanted, but she's just as big a pain in the neck as she was before. <sighs> Still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything you need to stay. I mean, we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. Ah. <sighs> Hey, Sento, can I have a go at that workbench? I want to try making something myself. Wait. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Now, watch this, Sento. I'm going to be a builder just like you. Now then, what was it that you do first? <laughs> huh? No, that's not right. 
Uh. Damn it! Why this is why isn't this working? Uh. All right, you asked for it. Yeah! What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Uh, why can I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, uh, forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun and games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Uh, sorry, Sento. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you even things out and made something for me. Aha! Uh -huh. I've now learned a new recipe. Yeah I made a weapon for I can make a weapon for Mulros. Alright, let's make let's make weapon. Munching, munching Lex. How you doing? Hey yo, I'm making a uh, a club for, for for. I want with a silly old stick. It's not just any stick. It's an oaken club, and I can use it to whack stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sounds right up my alley. All right, I'll take it. Give it here. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, come on, gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh, uh... Oh, give them all. I see. Wait. <laughs> hey, this really is a club and a half! I wonder how it performs! Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings! I like it! No, I love it! Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now! And to think you made it with only using the junk we found on the beach! You're amazing! Thanks, Sento! This club will be the best present anyone's ever given me! I think. I was sure I followed the Twitch channel would explain why I never showed... I was sure I followed the Twitch channel. That's why I never show you live. Oh, it's okay, Munchie. It's okay. It's okay. Huh? Senso, can you feel that? Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster, but whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. This could be, could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down the coast of the west. Come on! I want to break in my new club by breaking that sc sucker's skull! Marathu is ready. Much in life. Thank you for the follow! Appreciate it! Can't wait to break some skulls! Oh my god, I'm doing a Naruto run. Son of a bitch. <laughs> just... Whish. Oh, it's a rat. Take this, you monsters. Ow. Take that. <laughs> oh, hold on. Some someone out of sync there. Yeah, we got went out of sync there. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay. There we go. Whoa, what was that? You struck your hand out just then. I got this irresistible urge to slap it. It's called a high five? It's something friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh. I never thought of myself as a touchy-feely type, but 
Maybe I can make an exception for this high five, Malarkey. Huh. Anyway, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Mm. Sento and Malarkey level increase. Wait a minute, Sento has a level now? <laughs> or this is combined because they're together. Malarkey is stronger and Sento reaches level two. His maximum HP increases. Mm. <laughs> Feel good wagging that right, rat, right? It's like an irritating little itch has been well and, and well and truly scratched. Huh. But don't forget you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do. But I guess wanton destruction is much more in my bag. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lily steals all that bedding. She's a wily one, all right. You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Sento? I'm glad I met you. I'm about to conk out any second now. Oh, they're being friends. All right, so let's go to bed. We're friends now. Yay. Fuck that. I just love that I run like, like, uh, it's like Kid Goku. It's like Kid Goku. No, no. He runs like a rally from Dr. Slump. Oh, uh, that's like, that's like, that's like uh, a, uh, a rally is running. Oh, building? Time to build the underwater city of Rapture. Yes, that will be a thing now. Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Our first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast from uh, from the b. Ah! No! What is it, Lulu? A monster? It's my Scallywinkle! It disappeared! What? All right, Malroth, own up! I know it was you! I purposely only ate half of that seared Scallywag with Scallywinkle last night so I could have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant! What are you wittering on about? I haven't touched any of your manky half munch mollusk! Huh? That aura! going on this time? Hey, you too! Uh, you're gonna want to see this! Aha! Hmm. Uh -huh, there's the culprit! That monster must be the one who snapped my scallywinkle! <laughs> What's the hammerhead? Why is the hammerhead a ghost? That ain't your normal hammerhead. That was like tension plus 20 hammerhead right there. Whoa! It just took down that whole cliff. And are those steps? Ho, 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 ho. This way, young whip, whip, whipper snappers. Oh, here we go. Legend time. That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it. Can it? Hmm. Huh. On second thoughts, maybe I'd be able to tell us something about this island. I mean, it'd be able to tell us something about this island. Huh. Sento, Lulu, let's get after that monster. I've got some questions that need answering. All right. Let's go. Also, what's Lulu going to do? Can't do shit in the stairs. I gotta hop every time I go. Cause not one I can just easily walk up. Huh, nice little area here. 
Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm going to do this right. Ho, ho, ho. This way, this way. Quick, 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 quick now. Hey, John. Yeah. Stay where you are, you freaky fog foggy. Foggy. I don't like this one bit. That mad old monster's even made the sky turn a funny color. Who cares about that stupid sky? I want my breakfast and you two are going to jolly well help me get it back. Maybe uh, Malroth was right and we should have killed her. I'm getting me some material while I'm here. Thank you, Malroth. I see you sir, working on the side. Foggy got really close to stop down and get you booted off for a second there. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. It's fine. What are they gonna do? Big wolf. They gotta only gonna cry about it. You gonna cry about it, about fogies? And all this rope. Because I know I'm gonna need it for later. So best get it now. Alright, uh we're going this yeah, we're going this way. So far I think we got enough rope, so I'm not gonna do any more. This way, kick, kick, kitty wiggles, nearly there. Never seen a hammerhead be a ghost. He's leading us on a wild goose chase. Does that horrid hammerhood expect us to follow him all the way up to the top of the mountain? That monster's got some kind of strange power. I've never felt anything like it. Now we need to catch up. All right. Uh, oh, thanks for giving me that grass, Maroth. You're a true friend. Best of his buddy, Maroth. And you might want to kill Lulu, but it's Maroth. He has amnesia, but it's okay. See, there's normal stairs right here because he didn't have to walk. Whoa. What's a place like this doing on a desert island? I mean, on a deserted island. Come on, Sento. That hammerhood is just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans on all this island's secrets. Let's do it. There's no escape now, you sneaky scallywinkle swindler. Just hand over the bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can permit all leftovers. I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing. No ifs or buts about it. Sento sneered at Scallywinkle especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Sinto, you must. It just so happens that I have been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, rock up here for, oh, for a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know he's a builder? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
You're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pitched this, I mean, that scrum, scrum, scrum to the scallywick was to lure you fine friend up here. Look around you, Sinto. This tipple was laying in the sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you are the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix, fix, fix it. Everything you need to repair me rebuild this tip, tip, tipple is right here in these chests. But a fresh face builder like you might find the going di di difficult without the blueprint as a guide. Come back here, you conniving old codger! I think we're gonna have to fix your house for free. I mean, if you think we're gonna have to fix your house for free, you got another thing coming. And anyway, what's the blueprint? I have a blueprint for a temple. Now I'll learn how to make temples. Derek, what, what do you use as an elk for the base on talking? It's my exes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's uh, it's using Reaper. I got VSTs on it, which is like little plugins for vocal effects. Single drawn out a mountaintop temple blueprint. All right, so masonry walls. So uh, three more braziers. Uh, Sento? Why did you draw all these lines on the ground? Is this one of those blueprints the Hammerhood was telling us about? Gosh, you've never been ever been here before? And you're still able to draw up a design for the mountaintop temple? That's incredible! Now all you have to do is build it. Now, I mean, make sure you follow the blueprints to the block now. That old loony was telling the truth. Those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. It looks like all you need to do is place the masonry wall blocks in squares and place a bazier on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Are you ready to show Gary Glossalot? I mean, gl uh, Glossalot how the real builder does things? Uh, keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. Press is when you're standing on the blueprint to view it more, for more info on it. Okay, so if you want more info on the blueprint, so let's try that. Okay. Alright. Uh, Bye, ears. I got masonry wall blocks. Time to build. We'll place things down. Oh, I don't think. Hold on. No. Nope. Taking that out. My bad. Damn it. Cause you can you can hold down. Here you go. There we go. Uh you're gonna have to move. You're 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 gonna have to move. There we go. I was like, Lolo? I don't mind killing you now. I don't mind keeping you trapped. I'll do it. I, I'm not I'm that kind of guy. I'm gonna trace your. Okay, that's because I'm hungry now. I do have some soup. Eat. There we go. And ba bam! Since we complete the mountaintop temple blueprint. Tenso. <laughs> You finished the blueprint. And you didn't even break a sweat. I think I'll have to build, have you build me a palace next. That shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Answer me one thing, though. 
How did you come up with that blueprint in the first place? <laughs> Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book on your back is everything you need to know to be a builder written inside. Hmm. You're busted now, Sento. The secret's out. So you might as well let me read it. <laughs> you won't? Why not? Is something the matter, Sento? You've gone all red. Wait. You don't have a mucky magazine sandwich between the pages, do you? Mm -hmm. Muckiness doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down of a, with a damp cloth will just be good as... <laughs> you finished repairing the temple. I see. I knew you would, would, wouldn't let me down. All it took was a glance and you drew up that blueprint as quick, quick, quick as a flash. You're the real deal, Sinto, a builder born and bred, bred, bred. As I thank you for your hard work, 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 I'd like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it from the crack, crack, cracking job you did. I have hammer now. All right, so what's the abridged plot summary? All right, so I was on the ship with monsters. They were gonna take me to the to the ch the children of um uh Har Har Hargon Hargon, uh, where they might have probably sacrificed me and get rid of builders because monsters hate builders. And then we got to the storm and I washed up on shore and met Malroth and Lulu, and that's it. And now. Uh, to be honest, we just started, so it's, it's, it's still, we're still at the beginning. A silly old hammer? I thought you were going to give me back my breakfast. <laughs> That's a giant mallet, an indispensable item in the tool kit, kit, kit of a self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break, break, break blocks you couldn't before and gather even more I also have another co co cooking gift for you, Sinto. I'm sure you like this one. I give you this island, all of it, every last blip, blip, blip. What? You're giving him this entire island? All he did was repair the temple. Great, I have my own island now. Word. All this is mine. This world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to this island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into this, their very own piece of paradise. But now everything has crumbled cr away. All that remains is the ancient builder's belief in bed, bed, bedding in the blocks beneath us. I see some doors. So it's not like entry points or exit, like work points. See, so yeah, there's another door right there. Long have I waited for another builder to come! One who can build, bring life back to this barren land block by block block block! And you want... And you want Sinto here to do all the hard work? We don't even know what we're supposed to build! I think we're just building since the build? We don't know who you are either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. I'll have you know I'm the guardian spirit of this island and what I say goes. Well, it looks like you've just become the proud owner of a private island, Sento. Are you going to take the offer? If you do accept, would you mind if I stayed here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. 
No, I'll stick around too. At least until I got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you say, Sunto? Will you take the island? It's a stop, stop, stopping good offer. <laughs> I knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can be begin work on Lulutopia. The first thing I want is a power. Two. Lutopia? I don't think so. Today we established Molroth's Empire of Evisceration. Right, Sento? And she could be our first sacrifice. They're gonna bang. Ho <laughs> you young upstarts! This item belongs to Sento now. You should leave big, big, big decision like these up to him. Now, Sinto, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Come up and see if you can brick, brick, brick this wall behind me. There is absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there that I think you will be very interested in. Uh, you know what? I'll do it. Uh, let me bash with my hammer. I got a smashing good joke for you. Minecraft. So. What is the catch here? Nobody hands you a uh, free island without being a god class dragon ready to make you into his appetizer? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. You call that a treasure? It's just a tatty old nose board for, to me. It may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that nose board is in fact a portal through which a builder may peek, peek, peek into another dimension. I'll explain more later. For now, just peer into the portal and marvel at all the no no knockout things you see. The nose board is where builders go to share their favorite snaps. Use it where you want to show off and or need a spark of inspiration. All right, so this is like kind of like a social network thing. You can create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Yes, I agree. Put me in, baby. Plug me in the network, baby. Outdoor kitchen. Party. Oh, this is all actual stuff, too. Oh, not bad looking. It's cool that you can actually share your designs. Oh, God. Someone kind of like made like a Tower of Babel type thing. Oh, no. That's bad. Like what you saw, young, young, oh, yes, I saw the most wonderful photographs, and there were so many of them. I hope Sento takes the time to snap a few himself. I can be his model, <laughs> and then he can post them on the notice board and share them with the world. <laughs> you young, 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 enjoy yourselves. Come and find me when you're done, done, done. I'll be waiting right out here. Open the map with a uh, menu of plus and the snap. Okay, so you can. So. So. Shots. Alright. So. You upload your hours so we can move over. Oh, okay. So. Before you upload something to the nose board, you need to choose a builder, right? All right. Uh, oh, eight characters. Uh. Um. Hmm. Uh. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, let's do my, uh, my art, my art last name, Crowley. The name is now Crowley. You can change it after you progress to a certain point in the game. All right. Time to take a snapshot to upload to your island. All right. So zoom. Rotate. Uh, zoom. Okay. Gone. <laughs> oh, I can blow. Oh, hold on. Burns this day. Woohoo! Ooh, no. Alright, uh. Uh, move focal point. So that's the blur intensity, right? Okay, that's where I kind of can do that. Yeah. Uh, all right, I see. Uh, filter. All right. Oh, okay. A little nice filter to it. Time worn. I'll do that. Save. For now, this this is just a tutorials. Once you upload this, Snapchat will be available by everyone. That is that okay? Yeah. As the caption. Uh. It. It. Begins. Writing some tags to best describe your snapshot. Uh. Doing all that. Um, let's just do temple, I guess. Yeah. All right. Connect that bitch. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe this was a mistake. So how's you guys' day? <laughs> As I accidentally am uploading the world. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's almost done. It's almost there. And I shouldn't have done it. Why did I do it? Okay, it's done. Word. Hope it wasn't because I hit. Okay, you know what? All right. All right. Uh. Safe. All right. Uh. Oh, it's only. Is it only one file for this too? Urgh, so I can't make my play my own uh, game away oh, apart from this. So if I do anything, it'll be like. I'll just do like building off stream just to improve shit. I do like that. I can keep the camera zoomed in like this. All right, hold on. Uh... <laughs> so, how do you like your new notice board? It's quite the step, step, stepper's paradise, isn't it? As long as you have one of those boards nearby, you can flip, flip, flip the laws of space and time and observe the work of other builders whenever you desire. And you can put your creations on display for other builders to view too. I'm sure you can see that notice board is a su su super source of ideas and inspiration. Half of that was complete gibberish to me, but if it helps you build the place in the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. Speaking of which, I can't see you making such progress on that anytime soon. 
There's one rather big stumping block that's getting in the way. A stumbling block. It's this island. There are hardly any raw materials. And don't even think, I mean, don't think even a master builder would co and contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Bring them back here. Yep, that's what the doors are for, for, for teleporting. As a young dam dam damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little tap. It's for an aspiring builder. But even if you have everything you needed, I doubt you'd make much leap. We had head way with just the three of you. Wooden stone, stone, stones are all well and good, but you, what you really need is people. You'll have to travel to other islands and bring back, back, back a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rat, rat, rattling around this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces would really liven this place up. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to these other islands without a ship? You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have even have a clue. Hmm. A boat. <laughs> a ship, ship, ship! Whoever would have thought it? Hmm. Who would? Didn't expect that. You're doing this on purpose now. All right, out with it. Who are you really? You can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't remember who I am. Oh, I'm not even sure I ever knew. But I got this funny feeling that it will all come back, back, back to me if I want to tell work his building. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get that work started. The destination has been added to the map. All right, let's go. Just, uh, see that old captain. Old captain. Okay. Uh. Aha! Take that, gravity. So, I might stream more of this later tonight if you guys are up for it. I just know that soon that uh, we got I got superhero time to watch, so I got Common Rider and stuff to look at. Uh, and then I guess I can come back around ten if you guys are up for it, because. I might end it around here, because this would be a good stopping point. Oi there, me brawny bilge rats. I haven't seen any of other humans for fathoms. My name's Brownbeard. I was putting the blue, the ocean blue man bees knees when I sail right in the right old one of the children of the and slave ships. I managed to avoid them, but only by staring into a terrible storm. By the time I realized me muck was back to front, and I was already struck into a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was, I was lost at sea. But that's when I eyed this island on my port, port board, and on my port board, bow and pun it over. So what's your story? All you young and what snipper whippers end up here? Snipper, snapper whippers. My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia, or at least it will be when Sento here is finished with it. Lulutopia? Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. Aye, and a safe haven for a salty old sea dog like me. Cause only knows what I have been 
gonna become a man if I hadn't slashed up on these shores. God is only knows what the guy's talking about. Tell you what, I'll let you let me stick around. I mean, if you let me stick around, I'll be a chauffeur. I'll ship you all any hour from here on the second stand of me Max Blackside. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of me neck, and I don't know me neck at all. But if you ain't hitting all this near boat. <laughs> well, your boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks like it, it looks in decent nick. Uh, I say we got got a deal. Well, the first thing Little Topia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Trees line boulevard tree lined boulevards, spacious parks and tables sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case you should visit Farrowfield, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruitful farms. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming and a dash 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 and dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help your cause. Out of mark, mark, mark it on the Captain Brownbeard's map. You just need to send it to him. Yeah, the magic monster's thing too. Come and farm it when you're ready to go. Oh, well, when I got in with five thousand last time I checked. I don't even know what I'm doing for real. I'm just sounding like some drunkard trying to do a voice. Alright, so this is where we're going to cap it for now. So that's like about two hours worth of streaming. Yeah, about a little bit two, little, little bit around two hours. So, I will most likely stream later tonight around 10, 1030 Eastern. So if you'd like to see more of this, please come by. If not, I'll have the VOD still up and I'm gonna upload it on YouTube soon. But uh, but I will catch you guys later. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for coming by the stream. And I will see who I'm gonna be hosting. Who's streaming actually? Who will be streaming? Ho, ho, streaming so I can give them some likes and all that. Someone deserves my, my stuff. I don't know who they, who they give my, my stuff to. You know what? I see uh, Miss Poison Ivy playing some Destiny 2, so I'm gonna go ahead and post her. All right, guys. Good night. I mean, or good evening and all that. I'll see y'all later tonight. Bye.